Well, now that we've gone through the seminar, I want to talk a little bit more in depth about the philosophy of reconnective healing. You follow it with your awareness and it dances with you, with its awareness of you. Not an easy way necessarily to communicate this as our first experience. So we call it, feel for it, find it, stretch it. In truth, we feel for it, find it, follow it, and it follows us. Life is a dance, healing is a dance. Because Absolutely. there's a process that we do. We have a, a briefing and we talk a little bit to the client and then they have 30 minutes and then we have a debriefing and then I have a little bit of a window before I see my next client. Right. So the briefing is how we speak to the client before we begin the session. Mm -hmm. The debriefing is how we talk to them after their session. Understand certain things might come up. They come in. Create a budget and a strategy plan for your next quarter towards your future goals. Now, these can include marketing, equipment, updating your office space, your continuing education. So, the first thing that Dr. Karakoff did was he took a measure of a subject before and after a reconnective healing session. Now the first picture that we're going to see here on your screen is a picture of the subject prior to the reconnective healing session. Now the second picture that we're looking at, this is a picture of the same subject after a reconnective healing session. Let's discuss some of the key words that you might want to use to help guide a conversation with someone into them desiring to feel these frequencies. A return to wholeness. A fuller expression of health and a fuller expression of you. Now in most every conversation, it doesn't take long between your sharing with one another what you do professionally. And you'll say, I do reconnective healing. And most people will say, what's that? You might say, well, would you like to feel this in your hands? I take my hands and I'll open her fingers because they're touching. I'll say, okay, open your fingers like this. Okay, and I'll show her with my hand, and I'll show it with hers. If they start to close again, I'll say, no, open them a bit more. Maybe they still have a few questions. I know I did when I first came out of the seminar. I had some questions that I still wanted answered. Well, that's what we're here for. Here are some of the common questions that come up. Question. My family doesn't want to know about what I'm doing. They're skeptical. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> 